we're going to be shifting structurally. Uh, up until now, we've met lots of patients in our uh, clinical practice and uh, performed uh, research analyses by measuring contrast sensitivity function and doing quantitative ultrasonography. Um, but the platform of evaluations that we are employing is expanding, and I'll mention that in a moment. What I'm planning to do is open Saturday research clinics, meaning limit Monday to Friday clinics for uh, clinical evaluations of people who have problems of various types. Uh, there are three doctors in my institute and we see patients on, on different days. But I think I'm going to open Saturday clinics so that we can isolate research patients, spend more time with each one and do more testing. And in that regard, what we're developing is a measure of the ability to read both accuracy and uh, speed and um, continue developing the, the questionnaire that I alluded to earlier that we've spoken about in the past. It's a floater specific questionnaire that ultimately will probably be putting online, maybe on, on the uh, vdmresearch.org uh, website to make it available to people worldwide. Um, that can serve multiple purposes. Uh, first and foremost, I believe the, the greatest value would be for people to evaluate themselves at home and determine how they compare to hundreds and eventually thousands of other people who have completed the questionnaire. And uh, that can be very useful information for an individual because you don't really know how bad is your condition. And this will be one way for people to uh, do self-assessment and get comparisons to a database with many other people who um, can, can um, help individuals understand their situation without necessarily going to a doctor who may or may not have uh, an interest in vitreous and may or may not have an understanding of uh, the problem, uh, et cetera. But in terms of an outcome measure, uh, how do we evaluate new treatments? This is going to be a useful thing is to, to get this questionnaire, to get the ability to read. And then there'll be other things we've spoken about before, the influence of ambient lighting and how can we measure visual function in different types of lighting. So the establishment of a Saturday research clinic on a weekly basis is going to enable us to uh, spend more time with each individual uh, and not have it uh, diluted, so to speak, by, by other clinical care that's being rendered at, at the same time. Even though we've been really successful for many years in, in doing it in that way. But I think that it's, it's another byproduct of the shift of emphasis and the growing importance of vitreous research uh, in the world, um, but specifically in our world. And so um, I think that's going to be a very useful thing. In previous meetings, we've discussed the issue of um, atropine therapy, and we've decided to um, investigate the um, potential of using low-dose atropine eye drops to alleviate some of the symptoms of uh, VDM. And uh, we would like to do objective measurements of reading speed, uh, obviously, we'll get the floaters questionnaire uh, as a baseline, uh, reading speed as a baseline, contrast sensitivity function as a baseline, uh, and we'll also be doing some studies on the pupil itself, and uh, then administering the low-dose atropine, and then repeating measurements to see whether there is an improvement subjectively that we can quantify with the floaters questionnaire, whether there is an improvement in reading accuracy and speed, whether there's an improvement in contrast sensitivity function uh, to determine whether this is potentially a useful way to, to treat patients who are complaining of, of these uh, problems. We're also going to be working closely with a French uh, technology company that has developed a, a new ultrasound probe that incorporates five probes into one. So it increases the sensitivity of the 
um, technology significantly. And uh, we're going to be getting one of those systems. It's going to be optimized by our colleagues who are acoustic engineers at Columbia University in New York and at Riverside Research also in New York. And once they've optimized it for the types of applications that we are interested in, we'll be using that um, probably initially in the research clinic and maybe ultimately in the, in the general uh, clinic uh, during the week, but we'll, we'll figure those logistics out. The point is that the company is going to make that available to us and we're gonna be able to use it in various settings. The setting that they're most interested in um, is going to be a setting of uh, evaluating YAG laser vitreolysis to treat cases of vitreous floaters. And as many of you know, I have not uh, sanctioned or supported the uh, use of YAG laser vitreolysis because in reviewing the world's literature and considering all the data that's available, there has never been any scientific evidence that uh, it works. That doesn't mean it doesn't work. It just means that the way it's been done um, has not resulted in any proof that it works. And so we're going to be setting up a project in collaboration with colleagues in London, where we're going to be performing the same protocol of evaluation and uh, treatment to determine whether or not uh, YAG laser treatments are effective and uh, if they are effective, in which subtypes of individuals are they effective? So that it would begin to introduce a, um, an alternative to the treatment of patients with VDM uh, using something less invasive than uh, vitrectomy. So we're going to be embarking on that this year. It'll probably extend next year and the year after. And uh, it's exciting because it offers uh, Europeans the opportunity to go to London if they want to participate in that study. It offers Americans the opportunity to come to California, but Asians as well. I've had a number of people come from Asia complaining of these types of problems uh, who have sought and received care uh, in California. So I think using London and, and California as our uh, two centers for this approach is, is going to be uh, useful. I continue to have discussions with other industry leaders that um, are interested in this space, trying to stimulate R&D in that uh, domain. Um, they haven't gotten as advanced as the project that I just described to you, but things will hopefully advance in, in the coming months uh, to a point where we'll have projects with them as well.